We're on the last steps of our project. Are you ready? Hey everyone, Kristen Som here and oh boy, yesterday we did the outer borders and it's just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh my gosh, don't you just love this one? Oh boy, I love it, I love it. I think it's so beautiful. I'm just loving this one. So um, today we are going to start on the last steps. So I'm just going to go over those pretty quickly. Um, let's go over the products that we need because there's kind of a lot still. We have the backing and the, um, the little holder for the um, battery pocket for those fairy lights and then the zipper enclosure, which I've never done. I'm a little bit nervous about that. Um, and then a label. So I want to tell you real quick, I haven't uh, stitched out my label yet, but I had a company working for us on creating a label. So So Cha Cha, remember So Cha Cha? They have an Etsy shop and I had recommended a lot of um, their specific little minis. They have re they have a like the best selection of mini designs that I've seen. And we used a lot of them on our um, Falling for Autumn quilts. So I reached out to her and asked if she would be interested in creating a design just for us. And I gave suggestions of what I thought would look really good and what would fit where and how we needed it to be to be able to personalize it. And she made one for us. So I'm very excited about that. So you have to purchase that design from that shop, from the So Cha Cha so shop. <laughs> and I will add a link here of where you can get the design so if you can get that design, you can go ahead and personalize it, put in your name, put in your date, or for those that have created a donation for Kristen Creates to support our channel, you show me that you you purchased that design from the shop and I will do the personalization for you. But you do have to let me know how you purchased the design because it's not my design. I can't um, take it and change it for you, but I can if you have purchased it from that shop, then I can do the personalizations for you and send it in the format that you need. Again, that is just for the people that have made a donation during the time of this nativity bench pillow. So the way that they can do that is through PayPal. I'll add a link here through PayPal. You click on that and you make a donation to the Christian Creates um, tutorials. Or the other option is through Venmo. I will add a link here for Venmo as well. Either one of those will work fine. And a bunch of people have already made a donation. So all of them, I am going to reach out to you. Make sure that I have your email address, please. That's super important. If you don't, I don't have a way of contacting you. So there is someone that made a donation just recently a really generous donation and didn't include any information. And so I have no way of reaching out. She's not in our group in um, Christian Creates on Facebook. Um, so I don't have a way of reaching out. So I did send in a message via PayPal, um, hoping that she'll at least get that in response so that I have a way to contact her. But don't be one of those people, please. It, it causes more work for me and I don't know how to get a hold of you. And I want to be able to send you this gift. I want to be able to say thank you so much for supporting my channel. And like I said, Anyone that has made a donation during the time of this project, the Nativity Bench Pillow from the time that we started and until finishing, um, I will send you a um, personalized custom label if you purchase the design from the from our uh, the person that created it for us. So cha cha. All right, you have to purchase it from them, and then I'll do the editing for you. All right, so I haven't made my yet, mine yet, so I can't show you. Um, I did already edit it. I'm pretty excited about it. It was so nice of her to do that for us. Very nice of her to take her time to do that for our group, our Kristen Creates group. All right, so let's go over what we need for today. Like I said, we will talk about the, um, the quilt label, the custom quilt label. It's not really a quilt label, the custom pillow label um, later. But for now, let's talk about what we need for today. So a couple of things, we will be starting with our fairy lights, all right? So um, the fairy lights are in the embellishment kit and some decide not to use the fairy lights and they decide to use rhinestones. Some, if they wanna use bling instead of the fairy lights. Totally optional, absolutely can do that, no problem. Whatever works for you, but I'm gonna show you how to install the fairy lights. Um, I like to use this all 
AWL. This is what I use. I don't remember where I got it. I've had it forever. This works really well for, for punching through the layers to be able to get those fairy lights installed. And then I just kind of widen it, like going like this through the eyelet. All right. So those eyelets that we have been stitching on our project, we will use that for our fairy lights. All right. And then I'll also show you that I use duct tape to be able to tape them in place so that they're not moving around once you get them into those little holes. All right, so I'll show all of that in photos, but um, get prepared for our fairy lights. We're gonna install those today. All right, before we add the backing, we are going to um, get the, the fairy light holes ready. All right, the other thing that we need from our embellishment kit, the last item, is the zipper. All right, this zipper, it, we are gonna install this, and like I said, I've never done it, so I'm just, so, Give me a little grace on this. I'm going to do my best to show you how, again, I've never done it, but I'm really excited about it. I, I hear that it makes it easier for getting the pillow form in and out. So that will be good. So we're going to do that. All right. So then the other thing that we're going to work on is the backing of our pillow and the little case. All right. The little, um, so a, a blocking for the zipper case and then also the case for the um, for our, what is it called, for the Fairy Lights battery pack. I don't seem to have that, that's interesting. I thought I had it, I remember having it. I will look for it. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about what we need for that. So first off, let's start with that. So the battery pocket, we're gonna make that and we're gonna use a fabric that has the lines all over it, I believe. I believe it's this one with the lines all over it. This isn't the specific one, cause I'm gonna, I think this is for, oh, maybe this is it. No, I think this is for my, I think this is it. I'm not sure, it is, sorry, my mistake. All right, <laughs> I'm ready, honest. All right, two by 12, all right? So see, it's this blue um, navy fabric with um, blue lines all over it. That is the fabric, and it is two by 12, and this is for our battery pocket, all right? Two by 12 for the battery pocket. You can choose to stabilize it or not. I did, um, totally optional on this. So this we are gonna use to make our battery pocket for the fairy lights, okay? And I'll go over how to do that. We're basically stitching it, turning it inside out. I'll, I will go over all of that in photos, but for now you just need your um, battery pocket fabric. This one, two by 12, one piece, two by 12. All right, and then we'll work on the backing. So the backing is gonna be 18 inches times with the fabric. And really, it's not 18 inches times with the fabric. It's whatever your pillow is. Mine came out a little bit smaller. I did my seams a little bit tighter, um, but whatever yours is, you're basically, the way that I do it is I lay down the fabric and then I put the top on it and then then sew it on from there because then you're going to know exactly the size needed so but basically it's 18 times with the fabric so it is the same one as we're using for our battery pocket it's a blue fabric with lines all over it um, i don't stabilize my backing fabric some choose to it's totally up to you i choose not to um, so it's not stabilized 18 inches times with the fabric or whatever yours is and like i said we're just gonna um, lay it out and put our 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 pillow top on top of that. So one thing also is we want a cover. It's a navy nylon coil zipper. Oh, that's the zipper. Sorry, I already mentioned that 42 inch zipper. That's in our embellishment kit. So grab that. Um, and then we are also going to use this to make a flap for the pocket. If I recall, I'm not seeing that at the moment. Um, here it is. So we're going to have 16 inches of fabric and then two inches we're going to cut off right from the top. And I'll show you all that in photos, don't worry. But that two inches is going to be for our zipper cover. And it's the same fabric. It's from our, um, our back fabric. We'll take that off from there. All right, so that's it. That's all we need for today for now. Um, we will need more, a little bit more, like I'm thinking some felt for our, um, our label. And like I said, the, the couple of supplies to be able to get your fairy lights installed. And oh my gosh, we're so close to the end. You could also use some pins and some clips. Um, we'll go over all of that in photos. So let's go ahead and get started on finishing up our pillow. <music>
So I wanted to show you, I made my quilt label. It's not a quilt label, a pillow label. I keep saying quilt label, but basically the same thing, right? Something that shows for generations to come that their great grandmother made this pillow that they're putting out on their bench many, many years after I'm gone, right? I think that this is so cool. I really enjoy this. So this was made by So Cha Cha. And like I said, I'm going to show you how to, um, <coughs> excuse me, how to adjust it. But for those that made a donation during the time of this project, I will make those personalizations for you. You just have to show me that you did purchase the design from So Cha Cha because they made that for us. So I will show you how to do it um, or you can just, I will reach out to those that already made a donation and, and say, if you purchase this design and I'll give you the link for it. Um, but in fact, I'll add a link here. So this is where you can get it from So Cha Cha. All right. And then, like I said, anybody that made a donation during the time of this project, I will do that personalization for you. I will add the name and the, the border so that you can put your felt down. Um, and of course, all the directions will be in this video. So pretty good. It turned out pretty great. <laughs> Hey everyone, so now that the pillow is complete, or even before you complete, um, I want to show you how to make changes to the label if you choose. So like I said, you can get the label from So Cha Cha. They have an Etsy site and they also have a website. So the website is easier for me to link to, so I'm going to have that link in the description below this video in the video notes. All right, so you can see the design here. This is the one that they created for us, and there's a few changes to it to be able to personalize it. If you really need to use the Etsy shop, I know a lot of people buy from Etsy, and I do as well, um, it's just harder for me to link to that because the links on Etsy are just forever long, and it takes up too much space um, since I only have limited characters that I can use. But she does have an Etsy shop as well, and so I will see if I can link to that. Um, you can always send me a message and I can I send it to you that way too. But the website I think is probably easier. Um, so anyway, there's both options. All right, so like I said, the Etsy shop or on their main website. And either one, I think she named them both Christian Create. So if you go onto the So Cha Cha site on Etsy or on the um, the website, just type in Kristen Creates in the search bar and you'll find our nativity scene that she created just for us. All right, so you have to purchase that to be able to um, use your label. You can make your own label, of course, but if you want to use do the same one that I've done, um, you need to buy this design from the person that designed it for us. And then if you've made a donation during the time of this project, I will... Um, reach out to you and, and if you can show me that you purchased it then I can change it for you to personalize it so either way though I'm going to show you how to do that if you want to do it on your own if you've got embroidery software it, it wasn't very hard to do so I'll show you in case you want that extra challenge either way so I'm going to open up in brilliance essentials here's what I've done to change it up a little bit so what I'm going to do is again I'm going to open up a new page and I'm going to bring in the design fresh and show you the changes all right so I'm going to go to file new page all right and I'm on my five by seven hoop if you're not on the hoop size you want go up here to this preferences folder click on that click on the five by seven hoop and say okay now once you get there actually I'm going to move this over so that my head's not in your way all right, once you get there, see down here at the bottom where it says five by seven, if you click on this, double click on it, look at what happens. It changes the, the um, hoop direction. So that's really cool and helpful and easy. All right, so then I'm gonna go uh, over here. I've got my, um, my design file over here on the side. I'm gonna just bring that five inch design. I'm just gonna drag it and bring it over to the workspace. Th that's one very simple way to do it, or you can go up here to um, merge stitch file and find the design. Either way works fine. All right, so there's the one as they made it for us. All right, so like I said, I made just some minor changes to it. So I'm going to start with that and then I'm also going to make a placement box around it, which is optional. I found it helpful for tacking down my felt and I will show all of that in the tutorial, but also hear how you can make your own if you choose. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this design. So there's our stable and all the baby Jesus and um, all of the different parts. And they're all in black. I asked her to make them all in black, but I also asked her to make them all separate so we can move them around as needed. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in um, the 
let's see the personalization so I have to look at what I did I don't remember which one I used let me see if it'll show me if I click on this let's see oh no let's see so it doesn't it's not going to tell me which design file I use that's a bummer um I wonder if I open I'm going to go to file new page and I'm going to open up the design I'm going to turn this and I'm going to see if I can open the, what's it called, where it's the working file. Let me see if I can do that and see if it will show me, because I didn't write down um, which uh, font I used. And it doesn't matter. You can use whatever font you like, um, but it may help to be able to um, use what I have, because then you know it'll fit. Um, so let's see. Oh, good. So that, that worked. So when I was on my original one here, it's only showing me because this is a saved PEZ file for my format of my machine. But if I open up the working file, you saw that it was, what did it say? Um, let me open that folder again. I think it's not that one. Sorry. Nativity label. Um, so working file, it just says working file. That's what I named it. Um, I thought it said it was like Bez or something. I don't remember. Something with a B, I thought. But anyway, so um, when you do a file, save stitch file as, you can say um, save as stitch and working. Whenever there's fonts, you want to save it as a working file as well because then you can change it as you want. Um, if you only save it as a stitch file, then it's going to be in the format that your machine will use, which is fine if you don't want to make any changes later. But if later you want to use this again and change up the font or anything, then you want a working file. So that's why it was easy for me to open this and be able to make changes to that. All right, so I'm going to work off of um, the original, but what I wanted to do is see what font I used. So I used Designs by Juju, Piece by Piece in a three-quarter inch. That's what I used for my font. So if you like that font, that's the one I use. Like I said, you can use whatever font you want. But I'm going to go back to this original one so that you, I'm starting fresh, all right? So starting out exactly how you've got yours when you purchase it from So Cha Cha. So I'm going to go to Create Letters, and <clears throat> I'm going to put my name in here. I'm going to highlight this text here, Kristen Som. I can spell my name. There we go. All right, and then I'm going to change it to that, um, what did I say it was? Designs by Juju, gosh, I already lost it. Let's see, piece by piece. I was thinking block by block, and I knew that wasn't right. Piece by piece is the one I used. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this file. So notice that when I hit return or when I changed, um, it went ahead and it, it put it in here, but that's okay. I'm gonna go to this little arrow here and it's got all the fonts that I've chosen. So I'm gonna go to Designs by Juju and look for piece by piece right there piece by piece and I used the three quarter inch there's also a half inch if you've got a big long name you very likely will need a half inch because if I recall my three quarter inch I had to shrink it down a little so I'm going to go ahead and click on that and it automatically changes the font all right <clears throat> now I'm just going to take this font and I'm going to start by um, shrinking it down and then I'm going to rotate it so this right here if I just click on this I can go ahead and rotate it a little bit or angle it whatever you call it and I'm just going to bring that there all right and that looks great just like that you can make it smaller too if you like it doesn't matter to do that you would just use any of the corners to be able to shrink it down and then move it to where you want it all right and at some point it will stop and say nope you can't shrink it anymore and that's when you know that your name is longer and you'll need to use a half inch font instead of a three quarters inch font all right so that looks great <clears throat> All right, and then, I'm sorry, I need water. Still trying to get over this cold. All right, so then I'm going to go to that other one just so that I can see what I used right here for the, um, the, le the numbers. So most fonts have numbers, but not all of them do. And I just wanted something different. So I went through, and I just went through lots of my fonts to see how the numbers looked. And I liked the look of this one. You could probably do it with this. In fact, I'll try it and see how that looks for you so that you can decide if you want to keep with the same font. I'll go back here. All right, and I'm going to go to um, Create Letters right there. And then I'm going to change it to, say, 2023. I'm going to say Return. All right, and that looks great too. So you could absolutely do that. I used Celeste, which I believe was by Planet Applique on my other one. Celeste, yeah, small. And, and that's from Planet Applique, if I recall. 
Um, so you could do that, or you, you could absolutely keep with this original the designs by Juju, piece by piece, or you could choose another one. Either way, whatever works for you. All right, so again, I just shrunk that down, and I'm going to rotate it again using this little um, blue circle up here. I'm just going to do that. Oops, don't click on the wrong thing. If you do, then click this undo button. All right, you want to, I'm going to just move this over here so that I can make sure I'm seeing it right. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring it down here. Now, one other thing that I did, I'm going to rotate that a little bit more. All right, it's a little big, maybe a little bit smaller. All right, so one other thing that I did is I moved the angel. So to move the angel, and I rotated the angel a bit too. So right here, I clicked on just the angel, and then I can go ahead and I can take it and I can move it down and I can rotate him. All right, so that she's pointing up toward the stable or toward the, the star. Whatever works for you, that's what I did to personalize mine. So the only other thing that I did, well, there's a couple other things I did. I don't want my name and my um, the, the year in the same color. And so I did change that. And like I said, I use two different fonts. You can choose to do that, to do that or choose not to either way. All right, so I'm going to change the color on this, and you could, well, you do need to have it changed now so that it will stop so that you can change, you have a moment to change the thread color. But I'm going to go ahead and on this, I'm going to change to the color tab. Right now we're on the letters tab. I'm going to change to the color tab, click on that color, and I believe I did mine in Pino. I wanted to use colors from the thread kit, and so I used... Pino. I'm probably saying that wrong, but you'll have to excuse me if I'm incorrect on that. All right, and then on this, the, the letters on my name, I used Marlin, which did not come up, so it must be a new color for a glide is my guess. I'm clicking on that color tab, clicking on the color, and then I just changed it, not Filtech, I changed it to um, Marlin, and see it doesn't come up, so instead I just chose a blue, and I think it came up as, uh, I could probably type in blue and see. I think it was called electric is the one that I ended up using. But either way, I just wanted to use the blue that was in our fabric kit. So I'm just changing it to blue for now. All right, and then I did change the star. I wanted that to be yellow while everything else was in black. So I, this is, you know, personal choice. I think I did sand and it looked kind of funny. I just hit my caps, sand. Oh, it did. oh so brother embroidery, I, I need to change it to fill tech glide. That would help too. Um, so let's see if sand. So sand is right there, but look at how, how blah that looks compared to the, the gold color that we have in our, our thread kit. So I'm just going to um, choose a different, I'm going to choose Dijon just so that we can see what it'll look like. We know that sand worked out fine. Um, but anyway, so that's all, those are the changes that I did to the design. But one other thing that I did, like I mentioned, is I added a placement stitch and a tack down for the um, the felt. All right. And so there was a really easy way to do that. Um, so what I did, let me find that nativity bench pillow. And I went to my um, quilting bundle and then I just chose a design. So I went to stars for embroidery files, block by block. Pez is what I use for my machine. And then I think I chose, let me think, I'm going to do like a four by six. All right. I'm going to do that and I'm just going to drag it over. Again, you can go to that merge stitch file and bring it in that way, whatever works for you. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this. So I'm gonna click on the quilting design and I'm gonna click this left rotate button. All right, and then I have quite a few changes I'm gonna make to this. All I want is the placement and the tack down of the, um, what would be the batting and I did it for my felt. So I'm gonna just click on st steps three, four, and five, four, three, four, 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 five, and I'm gonna click delete. <coughs> I don't need those. I'm not quilting my label. I'm just making a tack down for myself. All right. So one other thing is I'm going to click on this and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say move first because I want that to be above my, my um, nativity scene and my personalizations. All right. So you can see it's too small. So I'm going to go ahead and just change it. All right. And I think I changed mine. I think I made it five by six. So I'm going to go ahead and just widen this. Too much. There we go. And then this side a little more. So 
So down in the right hand corner, you can see what size you're at. All right, and that's what I did. I just changed it. I'm gonna bring this in just a tiny bit and bring this one down. All right, so you can see right here, selected is six by five, and that's the size that I chose. It really doesn't matter. It's basically just to hold your felt in place while you stitch out the, um, the label. All right, so th th real quick, you saw this was super easy to do, very quick and easy um, to personalize it, and that's just what I did. Like I said, I changed the angel, I moved her a little bit, and then I added my personalizations. I used Designs by Juju, the design itself, the nativity design, so Cha Cha made this for us. So I thought that was really nice. And again, you can make your own label. You can do whatever. This was fun and it goes along with our project and it was very easy to stitch and easy to personalize. So this is what I did. So again, if you made a donation to the Christian Creates um, tutorials, anytime during this project, I will be reaching out to you as long as I have your email address or you're in our, in our Facebook group, then I can message you through messenger um, but either way i'm going to reach out to you and say hey would you like a personalized label but you do have to buy the design from so cha cha and you have to show me that you bought the design and then i'm more than happy to make those changes <clears throat> so you can do a screenshot of your finalized order um, so whatever works but i need to know that you bought the design because i can't it's not my design to change um, and give away it is from so cha cha so you need to buy the design and then i'm happy to do the personalizations for you or i showed you how if you prefer to do it on your own either way so that's how to make your label don't forget you want to do a file save stitch or file save as and do the stitch and working file if whenever there's wording in there it's better to save it as a stitch and working file so that you have that file on hand to be able to make changes to it i'm not going to do it because i already saved mine i already stitched it out and oh my gosh it's so pretty i love it it was so nice of so cha cha to do this for us so there you go i hope this is helpful
And guess what? Our pillow is done. It wasn't hard, right? Oh my gosh. It's so beautiful. Don't you just love it, love it, love it. And I have my label on the back and I did my first zipper, um, zipper closure. I absolutely love this. This is really, really, really cool. So very fun. I just wanted to share that it is done. I can't wait to see yours. Make sure to share in the um, Facebook group and Christian Creates. And the lights twinkle. I don't remember my other fairy lights twinkling. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. I love it. I can't wait till tonight when my angel glows in the dark and the lights are twinkling. I'm so excited to show my family and friends this. We did a great job. I'm really proud of all of us. One more thing. It's snowing. Oh my gosh, you should see. It's coming down like buckets here. It's so beautiful. My porch is already completely filled with the beautiful white snow and it's coming down and I get to be warm inside my house at my embroidery machine. Perfect timing. And my shirt today, this is my cancer shirt. It says brave and strong. I believe it's a hoop mama design if I recall. Um, this one is um, my shirt for fighting cancer and I'll tell you about why I'm wearing that today in just a minute but um, the shirt itself is from I think I got it from Fred Meyer a while ago I will add a link to the design if you're interested in the design I'll add that underneath this video and how are you doing with your goal so whatever your goal is whether it is cleaning out cupboards or getting your craft room organized or um, being around good healthy people or getting outside and doing exercise or eating healthy whatever your goal is I love hearing about it and how you're doing with it so my goal is a pretty easy one for the most part it's just getting out and not um, getting into this funk of just uh, putting my head down and working too much and and isolating myself but tonight I have an event so the hard part is like there, there's an event that I really want to do. It is actually with my breast cancer warrior friends. Uh, we're going to go work at uh, the Idaho Food Bank and that's so fun. I love doing things like that. I really love being of service and especially during the holidays, like that's what it's all about, right? And when my son was in Boy Scouts, oh my gosh, we did in, in, insane hours of time of being of service. So I love doing that, but the negative is that I feel like I'm behind because I have this project. I want to finish up our nativity bench pillow because I have people waiting on me to do the December cutie. So I'm feeling a little overwhelmed and like I should just put my head down and work. And yet my goal is to get out and do things. And I have this wonderful opportunity. So I'm going to go do that today. So what are you doing for your goal? So I wanted to tell you that I did end up going to that, um, the Idaho food bank last night. It's a project with, uh, the local breast cancer survivors and a bunch of us got together and we went there and it was so cool. We, there were these huge, huge, huge bins of apples and we basically bagged apples all night for like a few hours I should say and it was so cool it was very gratifying to know that the apples are going to go to people in need and to um, officers that give them out as well they said that we separated and bagged like 5,000 pounds of apples so that was really cool and so we get there and we're all just hearing the directions of what's to what's to happen and the gal that is directing it said um who likes to walk a lot and i raised my hand and she designated me and one other person as the runner so all the other people sat around these big bins of apples of of an, a huge apple bin and they're bagging all these apples and and me and this other gal ran and we we grabbed all the bags of apples as because there were a ton of rows of people all around these bins of apples that were bagging them so she and I were the ones to go back and forth from each of the bins to the big bin that we stored them all in and so we did that for a few hours I ended up getting like 9,000 steps just from doing that and my hands are sore today and but it was really really cool like I I it was the perfect job for me because sitting around and listening to everybody's breast cancer stories is really, really helpful as well. Cause you talk about, you know, what's working for you, what's not working, different scares and, um, the different medicines post cancer and, 
And so I got to listen in on a little bit of that while running around and and getting all of the the bags from everybody. But it was just it was really cool. I was so glad that I made it work, and it was really hard to make it work because I really want to get working on this project. And I hadn't eaten dinner, and I was like, oh, I really shouldn't go, but I had this goal right, and so I made it work. And I was so glad that I did. It was really 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 helpful and gratifying to know that we were giving back to the community. I really enjoyed that, so I just wanted to share that with you.